if you want to crack exam stick to what the standard pattern is how are you all i hope you all are good happy and healthy today is your host shubham kumar and welcome back to legal talk series once again today i am going to introduce you to all the people mr rishabh dikshit is present among us today and mr rishabh dikshit uh, cracked his judiciary in his first attempt and he got 96th rank in the one i am warm welcoming you that you took out your precious time for us thank you so much for coming up uh, come into this legal uh, show it's it's my privilege to be present here thank you so much once again and uh, my first question is for you i would like to know about your background first where are you came from and where did you complete your education and uh, what was the time that uh, you think you should go ahead and become an advocate okay uh, <clears throat> so right from the beginning i basically my uh, my education till class 10th has been done from kendra vidyalay kv and then i had switched to uh, shamrock senior secondary which is in chandigarh for my 11th 12th so i studied for two years in a military school and i always wanted to be a fighter pilot to begin with then eventually i cracked my written i was like i managed to clear it but then because of some reasons medical reasons i could not join it i could not join armed forces as a result of which i looked for an alternative and amongst all i found law to be a very enticing option which i could have ventured into so i appeared for clat i managed to crack it and i was allotted nlu jodhpur in this process so i i i mean i joined the college with the basic outlook that i'll explore what all options i have so from the beginning itself i mean i was very much attracted towards judicial services but then obviously i wanted to explore other options as well so by by the beginning of my fourth year i managed to secure like i was shortlisted for three ppos so uh, one was from majmudar one was from cam and one was from luthra so i uh, i uh, initially i opted the offer from majmudar which is again a tier one firm and i did not appear for the interview of cam and luthra but then subsequently in the due course i left majmudar and i again joined i raised wine camp eventually so by the end by the beginning of fourth year i was able to get placements from the college then two years i just like basically chilled and all then once i joined camp i worked there for an year or so i had this thing in my mind that i'll work for two year or something and then i will probably leave the job because i'll have financial stability with me so that even if the preparation phase lingers on for uh, for some time which like which takes more than what i am expecting i don't i don't feel financially unstable but then because of certain personal reasons i had to uh, leave the job after one year and that's when i full fledgedly started my preparation for judicial services that's a brief background you asked me about so uh... why did uh, rishabh dikshit uh, choose judiciary and leaves corporate okay so from the beginning itself i always knew that the end would be at the judicial services only because that's something which always enticed me uh because the government job culture runs into our family because my father is a defense personnel my elder brother is also in government sector so i was always clear in my head ki ye karna hai but then obviously i was aware of my financial constraints so i wanted to have uh, financial stability with me to begin with and then start myself with the, and then start with the preparations of this exam so that's why and and then i think it also depends upon so if you ask me how to distinguish so it all depends upon what is your requirement like what do you want in your life if you want plenty of money if you want a good lifestyle like if you want good amount of money to spend if you want luxury then 
obviously go for corporate sector because it it will really pay you well but if you are someone who value work life balance more who wants respect who wants work life balance who wants to focus on his fitness as well then probably corporate is not an ideal venue for you so i was clear about my requirements in life therefore i made a switch to the sector of judicial services thank you so much uh, for sharing this beautiful work with us uh, my third question is for you what uh, motivated you during your law journey and who prompted you to come into this judiciary sector please uh, describe me explain so uh, i think first of all uh, if you talk about my family i think my elder brother was very much interested for me to uh, clear judicial services but then we had a very uh, broad out broad outlook broad mindset when i joined the law law school we wanted to explore all the options once and then wanted to see what fits us more fits us better i remember in my first year the then chief justice achal dattu he came for convocation in our college and then he told that students from nlu usually don't join judiciary because they are very much into corporate law so he prompted us that he wants students from nlu as well to come and contribute to the judicial services because obviously nlu are imparting good educations to the student so that was a triggering point for me at that moment and then i have interned in litigation firm as well which personally i didn't like much then i have interned with corporate firms as well so i understood that that's the easiest path for me to eventually like that's the easiest path which can land me to my eventual like my final goal in the shortest span of time because that's how i can attain my financial stability and that's how i can land to my like like the end result and goal of my life so that's how i eventually got diverted towards judicial services uh, basically uh, when uh, you were uh, working for the uh, uh, cam so uh, what was the time that uh, your thoughts will change like uh, you have to go into judiciary sector what thoughts uh, will came in uh, your mind in that time see i think uh, i also enjoyed my uh, stint at cam because it also teaches you a lot that cam mumbai has a very uh, positive work culture i mean working hours might be pretty longer but then the team in which i was working was really good people were understanding but like right from the beginning only i was clear in my head ki mujhe 2 saal ke liye hi karna hai like everyone has their goal and like vision clear i had a very clear vision in my head ki i will have to do it for 2 years and then i'll make a switch once i am financially like secured myself or once i am like completely done with it but then unfortunately due to certain personal reasons i had to leave the job uh, at the end of one year that wasn't like i didn't foresee it coming but then so while working at camp i genuinely enjoyed my uh, stay over there stint over there because it's again a very what do you say a uh, very good experience over there you get to learn a lot and then obviously you become independent in your life so that's again a very amazing feeling but the switch to judicial services was a was a long thought plan which was already there in my head and my vision was clear so that's how it was possible for me meanwhile basically it's a very big thing that you uh, you should crack judiciary in its first attempt so it's a big thing like what's uh, uh, motivated you and uh, what uh, your idol during your law journey so motivated me was so once you once i left my job because of the reasons then i understood that now i have no other thing to do in my life like i was i mean i had certain personal commitments which obviously i was fulfilling but apart from that i had good plenty of time left with me so i am someone who can't, who just can't sit idle like that i believe in utilizing my time to the fullest plus i had a goal in front of me so i thought why to wait let's start it let's see how it pans out so what motivated me was one simple reason why it all started i whenever i felt demotivated i would always think one question why it all started and i will always get my answer it all started because i wanted to reach a particular destination and unless i reach that destination 
this won't stop this shouldn't stop so that was the sole motivating factor for me that why it all started and i had no fallback option because i like i had very high, i had very high stakes because i had already left my job and other circumstances uh, supervening it but then that was the reason which that's how i kept myself motivated and then obviously i had a very good friend who was already a judge in rajasthan harshit sharma who is already a very known figure in the field of law he has already has a lot of exams so we both have been best friends since college days so he was there to like guide me he was there to motivate me he was there to and uh, clarify my all doubts whenever i had any so that way you can say i mean so for me during my preparation it's very important to have an idol for me that idol was kobe bryant like i play basketball so i choose him as my idol for his discipline for his strength for his mental strength for his never give up attitude so as you pointed out i would like to propagate through your channel that it's very important to have an idol in your life whom you would want to replicate so i always whenever i had doubts whenever i had self doubts aur wo sabko aate hain like there is nothing wrong in that this journey is such that where you will always have fear you will like at regular intervals you will have self doubts but then in those situations should always think about your idol i would watch kobe bryant's videos i would watch his games and i would try to draw motivation from him that had it been like had he been at my place would he would like had he would have given up obviously he would have not right because that's why he's a legend so that's how like it it kept me pushing it kept me i kept on pushing myself and that's how i was able to reach to my destination your goal will definitely inspire for those law students who want to achieve something in life that's <laughs> and my second last question is for you will you share uh, your strategy when you were preparing for the madhya pradesh judiciary exam right right so i have i think i have already uh, shared with a lot of other aspirants because after my selection i have approximately spoken to around 1000 if not less at least 1000 aspirants i have personally spoken and i have told all of them one one important thing that it's very important to uh, classify the states for example if you belong to a hindi belt it's not like that that you will go and appear for each and every exam because that way you will complicate things for yourself for example delhi haryana madhya pradesh rajasthan up bihar all of them are hindi speaking are hindi speaking belt just because they have hindi doesn't mean you should prepare for each and every state because you need to understand the approach of each and every state is almost different for example delhi haryana himachal are more of conceptual based exam they provide you bare act in the mains exam rajasthan mp is more of bare act based exam they will ask you bare act in the mains exam up bihar is more of a gs gk based exam which has altogether a different paper so unless you classify these exams and unless you choose one of these three categories and dedicatedly prepare for it you will unnecessarily create problem for yourself because you might clear prelims of every exam but then mains would you would you won't be able to clear it easily because you will mix up things since the approach is different you need to understand you need to pick a particular category of these three exams and then for example if you appear for mp rajasthan should be your backup because it's more or less on the same lines it's a completely bare act based exam if delhi is your target haryana and himachal should be your backup if up is your target bihar should be your backup so that's how you should go about this exam so i have seen a lot of people they take 3 years 4 years 5 years for cracking their exam because that because this is a general mistake which everyone does that they intermingle the exams so this is one thing which i did right during my preparation but another important thing is to choose your source wisely you like i would want to make it very much clear that it is since you are preparing for judicial services and not for a college exam or any like other academic thing so do not refer any standard or any big reference book per se for any subject because that will take you that will itself take you months together to complete that book or jitna jitna deep us book mein hoga they never ask in judicial services so 
it's important to just have basic and fair idea about the exam better you refer to any like judicial preparation guide rather than approaching rather than uh, studying from the standard commentaries and reference book because utna aapko janne ki zarurat hi nahi hai so if you want to learn more if you want to become an expert go for academics if you want to crack exam stick to what the standard pattern is stick to those uh, standard books which need to be studied for the exam don't go for those reference book because reference book hum sirf moot court aur research paper ke liye hi refer karte hain those are not meant for competitive exam so this was another thing which i did right and third probably was that don't refer to multiple sources this refer to one source and trust and have trust on that because if you will refer to if you will juggle between a lot of sources you won't be able to revise your syllabus and you will unnecessarily open up open up a lot of channels judicial services exam is all about revision the maximum the maximum you revise the better you get that's the motto of the exam so agar tum bahut zyada pad loge to revise kaise karoge itna revise hi nahi ho payega aur revise nahi hoga to exam mein likh hi nahi paoge yaar so that was my motto for the exam and uh, my last question is for you uh, uh would you want to share some general tips for those law students do your ground research work properly you should know what exam you want to appear do not blindly enter into the field of the judicial services and start appearing for every exam which comes into your way don't do that because that's a foolishness secondly uh self assessment is very important so if delhi or haryana is your choice do go for coaching because it's a complicated exam and you would require certain supervening assistance from the coaching institute but if uh mp or rajasthan is your target state it can be cleared even without coaching because it's a bare based exam now whether to go for coaching or not there is there is a simple test which i usually say to people that it's important to do self assessment and how it can be done so if you are someone who understands law by studying it yourself see you can lie to me you can lie to x y z but you can't lie to yourself so you will always know ki tumhe law pad ke kitna samajh mein aata hai everyone knows that even i knew that that's why i didn't go for formal coaching i took notes from ambition law because i wanted to fix my syllabus but then everyone knows ki what is their level of understanding so it's important to know that if you are someone who can study law by himself and is able to understand by himself then go for self study but if you are someone who don't who is unable to understand by his own please go for coaching that's how you distinguish ki whether i should go for coaching or not this is second third is don't go for a lot of sources as i said before stick to one source to wo jo ek source chunna hai na उसके लिए टाइम लगाओ डू प्रॉपर ग्राउंड रिसर्च वर्क फॉर दैट बिकॉज दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट गेटिंग माई पॉइंट बाद में सोर्स जगल करना इज अ फुलिशनेस देयर फोर टेक एज आई डिट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी लाइक इन ऑगस्ट आई रिजाइन फ्रॉम माई जॉब फर्स्ट सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई वॉज क्लियर इन माई हेड की अब तैयारी करेंगे पंद्रह दिन आई टूक टू डू माई ग्राउंड रिसर्च वर्क बेसिक ग्राउंड रिसर्च कि मुझे करना क्या है मुझे क्या नहीं करना है मुझे कैसे करना है मुझे कितना करना है तो जब तक आप वो ग्राउंड रिसर्च नहीं करोगे यू विल लेमेंट बिकॉज देन बाद में अगर आप चीजें स्विच करोगे ना सो दिस एग्जाम इज सच दैट इट विल कॉस्ट यू इट विल पीनलाइज यू बाय वन ईयर पूरी एक साइकिल एक साल की होती है तो वो एक साल पीनलाइज करती है सो डोंट डू दैट बी बी स्मार्ट डू योर ग्राउंड रिसर्च वर्क प्रॉपरली एंड देन जम्प इन टू दिस so that's 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 a thing which i want to share with my fellow aspirants uh, so lastly uh, thank you so much for sharing your enlightenment journey with us 